The primary focus of the research in my lab is to develop magnetic resonance imaging and spectroscopy techniques for the understanding of physiology, metabolism, and biochemistry. If we can identify metabolic dysfunction or abnormality at an early stage of the disease, that will allow the physicians to have interventions at an early stage that may make the disease curable. For example, diabetes, which is fundamentally a disease in metabolism, in metabolic disarrangement that leads to a lot of complications. Another example is in a stroke patients where shortage in blood supply will have a detrimental effect on the brain and it can even impact the normal unstroked area. What we're currently working on is to develop more sensitive and fast magnetic resonance spectroscopy techniques so that we can quantify a series of metabolic activities in vivo. For example, oxygen consumption, which is a uh, accepted parameter for evaluating metabolic activities and phosphor magnetic resonance spectroscopy, which allows us to quantify the uh, high energy phosphate metabolites in vivo. Comparing to the conventional proton MRI, imaging acquisition time is not clinically practical. So we're working in this area to make it faster, more accurate, and eventually it becomes clinically practical. In the cardiac imaging area, we did a few clinical studies. We looked at the original myocardial function in kids with muscular dystrophy. This is the disease in which the uh, symptoms in skeletal muscle will show up first, and the cardiac symptom will develop at a much later stage. We evaluated cardiac function in kids aged 7 to 10 years. If you look at the conventional parameters that used to quantify cardiac function, they all appear normal, including the echocardiograph. But using our technique, we were able to identify early abnormalities in cardiac function that would allow treatment intervention to be applied earlier.